Well, good morning, mighty, 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 mighty Rams. It is Friday, December 1st, 2023. It's another beautiful day here in Southgate, California, and here are this morning's announcements. Here is Southgate's mission and vision. Our mission is to prepare all students to become effective communicators, critical thinkers, and self-directed adults. Our vision is for all students to graduate Southgate High School college and career ready and empowered to compete and succeed in the dem increasingly demanding 21st century and make positive contributions to society. Now congratulations to all of the seniors who have submitted their Cal States and UC applications. Woo! Good luck to all you guys. Also, attention, any flyers posted must be approved by any administration and be and submitted to the main office on every Friday. Flyers will be posted in the display case in the cafeteria and PA building. Well, this morning our Rams roast had a free giveaway, so congratulations to the first caller this morning. Hope you enjoyed your amazing coffee they gave you. Good morning, Rams. We would like to acknowledge and Congratulate the 109 students who met the goal of moving from the basic attendance band to the excellent attendance band. Students will be given Rice Krispie treats during their sixth period, along with certificate. And we've entered into a, they will be entered into a raffle to acknowledge their efforts of improving their attendance by attending school every day during the last five school days. We want to recognize the following five students who will be winning the In-N-Out gift card raffle. Number one will be Damien Avila in 10th grade, followed by Esmeralda Banda in 12th grade, Chris Leon in 9th grade, Sofia Guzman in 11th grade, and Alina Estrada in 12th grade. If you hear your name, please come see Mr. Calderon and Ms. Hernandez in the admin complex after the morning announcement to collect your prize. Hey Rams, the Wellbeing Center is offering certification and hands-on CPR Stop by on Thursday, December 7th to learn and practice how to do CPR. All participants will receive a signed certificate and snacks. Stop by room B28 to learn hands-on CPR in less than five minutes. Our Culinary Club presents a winter bake sale. This will take place from December 6th to the 7th during lunch at the quad. So please stop and join by. Um, to capture the holiday season, at the Holiday Picture Fundraiser hosted by CTE, they will be December 4th and 5th during lunch in the quad. Every picture will be $5 and they will be delivered during your 2nd and 7th period on December 7th and 8th. Do you enjoy listening to music and chilling out? Well, we have the perfect club for you. Join the Music Appreciation Club. You can hang out and listen to music while doing variations hands-on activities in room B22, Teacher Kirkwood's room. Join us every Friday, well today, during lunch. The city tree lighting ceremony is Tuesday, December 5th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. So please join by. On follow-up to our Christmas lighting event, it's our 76th children's Christmas lane parade. So Santa is coming soon. This parade will be from December 10th on Sunday. It will take place from 12 p.m. sharp along all of Twitty Boulevard from California Avenue to Pine, uh, Pineshurst Avenue. The Santa's Village Festival will start from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. So please stop by and join us for this amazing annual event and also have a Merry Christmas. Well, tutoring clubs is happening. Drop in tutoring in the library Wednesday after school for math, science, and English. Thursday after school for math and science. Mondays in the morning in room 156 for math tutoring. Standard and skills tutoring program is for history support. Reach out to teacher Kirkwood in room B22 and Miss Freeman in room B18. For science, reach out to Mr. Aquilano in room 309. For health science, please see Mrs. Joseph in room 206. For algebra 2 and pre-calculus, see Mrs. Torres in room 100. For geometry, see Mrs. Vasquez in room 50. Don't forget, you have access to tutoring.com, which provides virtual tutoring for all subjects 24-7. Sign in with your school email 
and let's finish this semester strong academically and take advantage of these tutoring services. Go Rams! Woo! So today, December 1st, is National Christmas Lights Day. Woo! Yes. So make sure to go put up your Christmas lights and be ready for Christmas. Now, before we close out, we got to interview the Southgate High School skate crew. Now, here is some footage of that interview. Burials, 360 front sides, kick flips, ollies. These aren't a list of rides at your nearest theme park. They're some of your advanced skateboarding moves. Skateboarding, although it's not considered a formal sport, takes as much athleticism, practice, and effort as any traditional sport. Skateboarding is actually considered one of the most popular extreme sports. Skating can be traced back to surfers wanting to practice their surf moves when there weren't any waves to surf. I'd like to introduce you to Southgate High School's skate crew. Got a couple questions for you guys. All right, so tell us uh, how often do you guys practice and when did you start skateboarding? Uh, I practice like every day, uh, no shorter than like 30 minutes. Uh, I've been skating for a couple years now. Uh, I didn't like really focus on it until like last year. And uh, yeah. So a solid year and you practice like almost every day? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Uh, I, started, I started skating like two years ago, uh -huh. but I started um, doing tricks a year ago. And I, I practiced like three days a week. Okay. So. I've been uh, skating for like almost two years and uh, I practice like almost every single day, a couple times a week, something like that. Cool. I've been skating since uh, 2020, but I only started doing tricks like five months ago. They skate at Southgate Park almost daily right after school. Although these extreme athletes are not in team uniforms, they are just as committed and devoted to their extreme sport. In fact, sometimes their favorite moves take months to perfect. Skating, an extreme sport that takes as much practice and athleticism as any traditional sport. There you go. Tell me your favorite skateboarding move. My favorite, my favorite skate trick is either Nolly backside 360 or um, switch frontside shove. It sounds complicated, but that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, a double kick flip or a nightmare flip? I have to have heel for sure. Frontside 180 or... Frontside 180? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, there you have it. That is Southgate High School Skate Crew. Um, although skateboarding is an extreme sport, it's not your traditional sport. It sure does take a lot of athleticism. It takes a lot of practice. You guys saw some of that footage in that video. Hope you guys enjoyed us. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Santos, Southgate High School Skate Crew. Back to you in the studio. Well, I hope you enjoyed that interview, and that is all for your morning announcements. Here are your six steps to success. Be safe, be respectful, be responsible, be on time, be a partial, and be a proud ramp. Woo! Thank you, and have a Merry Christmas.